Hello art enthusiasts it's friday and i am starting a brand new series of testing these most famous jelly cups of himimiya it has 56 shades but excluding white two sets and black i am going to test the rest 53 colors one color each week every friday will be up here on my youtube so today i started with vermily and i started with mass stone if you observe initially i wet the jelly cup using just water it's a plain water i just used a spray bottle for my convenience and then in the second step i am going to spread the white gouache using water so depending on the vibrancy of the paint and the pigment color when you dilute it with water it changes since it is a very bright color it is looking beautiful now in the third step i am first uh, layering a bit of white gouache from the bottom and from the top i am layering the shade that i am testing and now using my brush i will be blending these both colors because we want a gradient wash how it comes with when mixed with white gouache all right so as you can see here i am using a very damp brush and a gentle strokes if you put more water you cannot test the property here because we want the gouache to mix between themselves and give a beautiful result All right now we can uh, slowly move into the next uh, step make sure this blending is proper if you are trying at your end or testing colors at your end because we need it to be perfect <laughs> as you can see i am blending a lot of times now for layering and lifting first i started with putting a color blob for lifting so that we can remove color from that and see if it is staining or not then i realized i can put for layering and lifting together so i am putting a bigger color blob so until this is dried we will uh, go and do the tint tone and shade so tint tone and shade is nothing but in tint we'll mix the color that we are choosing to test with white and in tone with gray and in shade with black so you can see i am mixing directly on the paper itself so you can understand how the color changing when mixed with the white or the gray for gray i just took a tad bit of white before and then a uh, tad bit of black and just blended them to show you that it is a gray and then mixed it with the shade that i am testing for the black again the same process first i'll put the black and then layer it it's not layering i am mixing it directly over the layering we'll do in the next step so since uh, gosh has a lot of properties similar to watercolors we can easily reactivate it and we can easily lift the color also by properly approaching the technique so we'll be checking all those properties one in every week so i hope this series will help all the gosh painting enthusiasts okay so if you are enjoying this series and all other videos or the process videos that i am sharing over here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get notified whenever i upload a new video if you have already subscribed thank you for that so now i am going to the lifting part here with a very damp brush you can see how straight and swiftly i am trying to lift i will go multiple times so that uh, i will try to see the pure paper white or not so i have lifted so many times and as a final step i can go with cloth to remove the maximum from that area and i can almost see the paper white which is like this pigment is not staining and now i am layering with white gouache with a very thick consistency 
and it can almost mask the color and uh, next to the diluted one of course it is diluted and black also can mask it diluted black is giving a beautiful nice shade if you want to uh, have this in your artwork you can do this by layering as well I loved the shade that has formed with water the gradient and also the shade of this uh, color so that's all and of course this is non staining as you have already mentioned so there will be some staining pigments which we'll explore in our further videos throughout every week and for your convenience of understanding i am labeling few areas and for my future reference also i am writing my observations and uh, overall i can give this color a uh, 4 star out of 5 stars so we will see how the things change with light colors and even more darker colors we'll see you in the next week's video Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.